It's Mark Anderson, teaching professional at the Philadelphia Cricket Club, and I want to share a case study with you on vertical gear effect. So let's take a look at the numbers here. We have a club speed of almost 114 miles an hour, and very low carry and total distance based on that club speed. So let's take a look at what we see here. The smash factor is on the low side, so not a good transfer of energy from club to ball speed. Uh, angle of attack is down a little bit, but close to the tour average. Launch angle is a little bit low and the spin is very high. So let's take a look at why someone would launch it low and spin it high. So some reasons for low launch. You might not have enough loft on the club. The angle of attack could be too steep. The ball position could be too far back in your stance. Player could be de-lofting the club at impact, or the ball may be struck below the center of gravity of the club. So some reasons for high spin. You could have too much loft on the club. That's not the case with this example. You could have a very high spin loft, which is the dynamic loft minus the angle of attack. You could have a golf ball that spins too much. Or again, the ball may be struck below the center of gravity of the club. So let's take a look at what was happening in this case. You can see the player was definitely hitting it low on the face, which is going to cause that lower launch and higher spin. And that comes from the vertical gear effect. Let's take a look at what happens. So as the club comes into the ball, if it is hit below the center of gravity, that club head twists a little bit and comes down and as it does you can see the ball starts to spin up a little bit and the face angle comes down so the ball is going to launch lower and is going to have a lot of spin on it. So the opposite of that is if you hit the ball above the center of gravity and as you do that you can see that the face or the head twists back a little bit um, and the ball starts to ride down, spins down the face a little bit, which is going to reduce the spin. So the gear effect, there you can see as that club head is twisting back, that ball is spinning uh, forward, which is going to reduce the spin. So that is going to give you a higher launch with lower spin. And that's what we're looking for to maximize distance. So let's take a look at the difference here with basically the same club speed the smash factor went up to 1.48. So much better transfer of energy. The launch angle went up almost 3 degrees to 11.2 and the spin went down almost 1200 RPMs. And that turned into almost 30 yards of total distance gained just by changing. All we did in this, we changed the T height about an inch, moved the T up um, that was just a simple fix to get this player almost 30 yards more.